let's do a little training on the MCL. So if you're trading micros on uh, these crude oil futures, let's kind of go about this, especially if you're using the 20 and the 200 and you're kind of playing the strategy and you're noticing, you know, there's a lot of fake outs, right? So one of the members in Evolution uh, Traders kind of asked a question, you know, how do you avoid getting faked out? How do you, you know, how do you avoid some losses, right? Because again, even though we're gonna lose trades, we don't wanna, you know, just take trades for the sake of taking trades. We wanna go with the trend. So here's the most simplest way that I can break it uh, down for you, okay? Are we trading below the 200 okay so if you notice here where's where's the bell at right so the bell's here if you notice here we're trading below the 200 and below the the 20 period moving average now you get a setup at 655 long never confirms okay so we're not taking that trade you get a setup here that does confirm and gets rejected so here's a fake out here's a rule of thumb if the space between the 20 SMA and the 200 is like this, it's very small, or the 200 is flat, or it's extremely tight, we avoid those. What needs to happen is we need to break the 200 before we go long, okay? So that's how we're gonna negate getting into a trade like this that's gonna get stopped out. What would we be looking for? The shorts, why? Because we're trading below the 200, which is flat, there's a small gap between the 20 and the 200. So let's focus on the shorts in that situation. So here at 740, we get the confirmation and you can see here 8360s, we confirm at 745 and we proceed to go from a price of 8360s all the way down to a price of 8330s. 30 cent drop on crude oil. Again, this is micros, but you're gonna make some money on that trade. Now, when we start to bounce, look at the close back over the 20. Okay, the 20 SMA is declining, so the gap between the 20 and the 200 is widening. However, it's not that wide, okay? So it's it's really not that far yet, right? Like we need to just be visual and kind of, what does your gut say? Do we have enough space here to really take a trade? Maybe we also need what to happen. We need the next candle to confirm. So the 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time setup that closes back over the 20 period moving average never confirms there's no trade here. Now, if we look at the short setup, it does confirm, okay? Look at the short setup. And I wanna point something out to you. 8.35 a.m. in the morning, we close below the 20 period moving average, gives us another short position. What are we gonna use as a stop? a one bar max pain stop, okay? So size appropriately. What that means is if you're oversized and you can't you know, handle the fluctuations and it's gonna stop you out prior to your hard stop, your size too big. So look at, look at our hard stop, look at our hard stop. Our hard stop is 83.82, our entry is 83.58. That's a wide gap, okay? So how many contracts can we afford to trade? with that wide of a spread, okay? We're talking about 20, 25 cents, 30 cents. How much can we really let this go? That's on you based on your portfolio size or your, your, your funded trader size or your evaluation size, how much risk are you willing to put on the table? But if you use a one bar stop and you can stomach the drawdown or stomach in case we do lose, look at what proceeds to happen, we confirm, we close back over, however, we never take out our one bar stop. So would we get a little antsy? Would we get a little nervous? Sure, it's only right to be nervous, it's only right to be anxious when the trade looks like it's going against you, but it never takes your stop out. Be patient, remember you are sized properly to let the move play out. That's what we need to get accustomed to, is letting the moves, meaning trades, letting them unfold, okay? So as they unfold, we're giving it enough time and enough space to see if it's gonna truly work. We get rejected here, we kind of tinker around, we tinker around, and then we drop. So your entry price on crude oil would have been around 83.57, we drop all the way down to a price of 83.19. That's a hell of a move. We come back up close over, never confirm to the long side. Look at the 20 also starting to get farther and farther away from the 200. I'm gonna to explain to you something in a minute. 
We get rejected here at the 200 or at the at the 20. We proceed to drop again. We consolidate into the 200 into the 20. We drop again all the way down to 82.58. Realistically, this second short position here at 80 at 8:35 in the morning Pacific Standard Time, we should have essentially been in all day. Now, of course, we're not going to hold it all day, but I'm talking theoretically, we could have got into the trade. I walked away, said that one bar stop, came back an hour later, two hours later, we still would be in the trade, right? Now, when you see the, this is towards the close here, but now look at the gap between the 200 and the 20. If we start getting setups, which we did here, never confirmed though, again, confirmation is everything. We don't just get into a trade just because it closes back over the 20. We need that next candle to confirm. If this candle here was to confirm, I might, I might take a stab at a long, just due to the fact that look at the gap now between the 20 and the 200. There's room there. So if we do confirm this move, maybe we can trickle up a little bit and I can make a little money on the way up. This gap is narrow. If we're coming from a narrow state, we just let it go. We would need for it to close over the 200 before we get long. Okay, keep that in mind. The farther away this 20 period moving average gets from the 200, now maybe we can get into a play. How many times have you looked back at the market? Let's say the market went down all day and towards the end of the day, boom, big pop and it goes back up. Those are the moves you would be looking for or vice versa. Market was going up all day. The 20 super extended from the 200. So the, the 20 is up here, the 200 is down here. And then the market drops towards the end of the day. We would be looking for that gap to take short, but not off the bell, especially when we're that tight. I hope this video helps you guys. Again, this only gave you, I would not take this long setup, so it only gave us the short setup here, should have been a winner. This here, never confirmed. This did confirm, but remember, we're not really looking to take the longs, especially when we're coming from a narrow state, right? So if we're coming from a narrow area, we wanna kinda let those go until we can see if we can get over the 200. Keep that in mind. Just kind of keep going with the flow. Right now, the flow is flat, down, consolidation, down. So we don't really want to look for the longs, look for the shorts. This setup, that setup here as well, if you missed all of these trades at 940, also set up one bar stop, 8360, you should have been in this trade again. So again, there was not a lot of fake outs and this is a five minute time frame. So there wasn't too many fake outs here. The only real fake outs were if you were looking to go long, got stopped out, got short, maybe you, you got stopped out because you got nervous here, you didn't give it enough time. You try to go long when it broke the 20, but it never confirmed, so you kind of missed that entry, maybe you made a mistake. This entry here went long again, no confirmation, so there's no trade here. Short position worked, right? Short position worked, long position confirmed, but again, are we really looking to take longs, especially you know in the New York lunch hour session? If you're going to look for a type of reversal like this, I would look for after lunch. So after New York lunch, then look for that reversal, not before lunch. Let's kind of make that a rule into our trading plan. That's going to help you a little bit more. It's going to help you kind of save uh, the probabilities a little bit in your favor. So again, stay with the trend. Make sure we're not coming from a narrow state between the 20 and the 200. Make sure we're trading with the trend. So you know, the longs, leave them alone, look for the shorts in this particular situation or vice versa. If we were over the 20 and the 200, look, uh, ignore the shorts, look for the longs. Um, and also give yourself that one bar stop. If you give yourself that one bar stop, we're gonna be really, really good now and, and allow enough time for the trade to work out. And that's gonna require you to size correctly. So do not take too many contracts because you're trying to hit a home run on one particular trade. Guys, look at how many setups we get. We get these every day, we get these every day every day there's at least one and i'm willing to bet every day you're going to get at least two or three every day and if we don't get two or three we're going to get one and sometimes it only takes one trade and we can turn our computer screens off and then go about our lives because we trade for the freedom of time also guys i'm doing something new for evolution traders uh lifetime members if you guys want to sign up I'm going to be doing a screen sharing and a live open. So probably a little bit before pre-market. And then at least for the first hour to hour and a half of the market, I'm going to be live streaming. It's not going to be available for everyone on YouTube right off the bat. It won't get uploaded on YouTube until after me and my guys are done. Reason I'm doing that is because I want to create value and really focus on my team. At the end of the day, this comes down to myself as well as evolution traders 
in 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 my on my team okay um so for those of you guys who maybe want to join you guys can sign up become a lifetime member and now you guys can get thrown into the pot but for everyone else you guys are more than welcome to enjoy these live streams after it's all said and done you can kind of see what i'm looking at in real time while i'm talking to my guys here um and on on youtube uh for them in the discord i'll see you guys all on the inside